Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will explain you how you can create the stylish chart for team attendance. If you are using this type of boring chart, then you can convert this type of boring chart into the stylish chart like this or like this. We will explain you how you can create this type of chart to show the team attendance in Microsoft Excel. Let's start without delay. I'm going to copy this attendance data and I will add a new worksheet. I will paste that data here. First of all, we need a support column that is the max value. Max value is the maximum value of the attendance which can be 100%. So I'm just putting here 100% manually. Let's fill this down. Okay. Now we will select this range and we will go to the insert and then we will insert 2d bar chart so we will take this chart just click on this cluster bar so we have our normal default bar chart here team seven on the top however team one should be on the top so what we can do right click here go to the format axis then this format axis pen will be opened scroll it down and you will see one option here that is categories in reverse order just check this now you can see vertical axis in proper order but our horizontal axis is on top so we can select the horizontal axis and we can delete this we have here attendance and max value legion so we can go to this chart elements and uncheck the grid lines and legions from here okay right click on the chart go to the format data series and we will change the gap width here let's take around 25% okay so first we will create the infographics chart to show the users for the attendance so what we will do we will go to the insert and we will insert the icons just click here and here we will search the icons for user just type here user and enter and we will take this icon just check this and we will take another icon this one just check this also click on insert we have two icons here we have some extra space in each icon so what we will do we will go to the graphic format and we will click on crop so we will crop the extra space carefully like this and click on crop similarly for this one also and click on crop all right select the first one we will change the graphics color from the graphics format tab and we will take let's say this blue color you can choose any color from here and select the second one and here we will change the line color so let's take the same theme color okay now just copy this solid blue and go to the chart right click on this blue bar go to the format data series go to the fill and line click on picture or texture fill and just click on clipboard the copied icon will be pasted in the bars scroll it down click on stack and scale width and we will take 10 percent per picture so put here 0 0.1 and hit the enter now our chart will look like this this time copy this icon and select the orange bar right click go to the format data series fill and line and take picture or texture fill scroll it down and from clipboard scroll it down and take stack and scale width and put here 0 0.1 and hit the enter now our chart will look like this just right click go to the format data series and series overlap just take 100 percent and you can reduce or increase the size as per your chart so let's say here i am taking around 15 now our chart is looking good we can select this and we can put the border around this so go to the format and take the shape outline this blue color click on the vertical axis and take the shape outline this blue color go to home make this bold and take the same theme color this blue color you can put the chart title now we will add the data labels 
to add the data labels right click and click on add data labels so we have the data labels for the max value what we want to show here the attendance so right click go to the format data label and take the value from cells and select this range click on ok uncheck the value and show later lines just keep only value from cells now we have here actual data labels you can make this blue and bold all right so our chart is ready if you want to create this type of chart we have to follow the same steps only thing is we can use these different icons or pictures so let's make a copy of this and paste that here and i will show you how you can create that let's keep this here now go to the insert and insert a circle from here so let's take this oval and simply click here so as you click it will create automatically one circle with the size of 2.54 centimeter and change the shape outline as no outline you can change the fill color so let's say i'm taking here this green color just right click go to the format shape go to the effects and in the 3d format for the top bevel let's take here 36 and height take here 36 okay so that's it so our shape is ready now make the copy of this and let's keep this here and take save fill as no fill shape outline take this green outline okay so we have two shapes one is filled another one is not filled now let's copy this filled one and click on the bar of the chart then go to the format and because we have selected the field one so we will select here attendance and then use control b just paste that okay and this time select this blank circle copy copy and click on the chart go to the format and select here max value which is already selected and simply paste control b so our chart is ready you can adjust the size accordingly you can change the color as green according to the theme color so let's take this color and same here or you can take little darker all right friends so that is how you can create these type of infographics chart in place of simple and boring chart and you can use them in your business dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching